Hey there guys, uh, I look pretty ugly right now, I'm sorry about that, I just rolled out of bed, well like an hour ago, at like 3.30, but uh, I recorded this video like three times last night, I tried to edit it, there was something wrong with it every time, uh, like the microphone wasn't turned on, I talked for 30 minutes, etc. So I just want to film it on the webcam, so I'm not going to edit it, I'm going to say everything that I want to say, and, you know, it'll be more like a conversation, not in the voice like, Whoa! Welcome to my video! Because that usually just makes things go wrong, so... Here we go. This is why I hate marriage. I've been opposed to it for a long time. Uh, I think it, it makes no sense these days for anyone to get married, or anyone to even want to get married, especially uh, if you're a man. It really is designed to screw you over these days, and I have a bunch of reasons over here. So let's get into them. First off, if you're the man, you have to propose. It may not seem like a big deal to most of you, but I think it's kind of insulting. Uh, because in society, the man is expected to make most or all of the moves to start a relationship. The man has to uh, ask the woman out. The man essentially has to keep the woman entertained so she doesn't leave him. It's not really um, a sense of, you know, the woman having to keep the man entertained so he doesn't uh, break off uh, the relationship. It's mostly uh, what he can do to keep her interested. So after all of that, the man has to go out and buy a ring and get down on his knees and propose, uh, you know, almost begging the woman to marry him. Um, I think it's a really outdated practice, it's kind of emasculating, uh, especially since <laughs> these women in their circle of friends, they will often judge each other's men based off their performances uh, for the engagement, like, uh, oh yeah, my man proposed, uh, you know, while the sun was setting on a mountain, oh, that's nothing, my man took me hot air ballooning, why didn't my man take me up in a hot air balloon, and then they get pissed off as if the mere gesture of trying to build a life together is not enough. So, yeah, if the woman could propose every now and then, that would be great. Or if, you know, if society just said, you know, whoever really wants to get married can propose, not just, you know, she has to say yes, he has to propose. And then, of course, the man gets no engagement ring. The woman, when she's engaged, she has a ring on her fourth finger, on her left hand. Uh, to show everyone that she's about to get married, but the man has no such luck. Uh, he has to either ask the girl uh, for a ring, or go buy his own ring, or none of that. Sometimes he just doesn't get a ring, um, so that kind of sucks. And then, weddings are ultimately like a giant look at me fest, uh, just showing, showing off for people, uh, getting a bunch of attention. And the woman makes a grand entrance. She gets her long flowing white dress, the veil. She gets bridesmaids, flower girls, what have you. But the man doesn't get an entrance. He has to wait at the altar beside the minister or priest or whatever. Uh, he just has to wait. He stands in a suit looking like any other guy at the wedding. Uh, so he doesn't get any special attire. He doesn't get any special entrance. So it's mostly... So far, this is all about the woman looking like a queen, whereas the man is mostly prepping for serving her or something. And then, some people say that you get married when you're in love. Uh, like, this is some sort of justification. You have to uh, have this wedding and get married and sign a legal document when you're in love. That really doesn't make any sense to me, especially when all the stuff that is on the line for the man He's putting all, all of his uh, financial well-being on the line uh, just to prove that he's in love when if the woman was in love with a man, like seriously in love with the man, don't you think that she would look at all these things and say, hey, um, if there's such a chance that we'll get divorced and I love this guy, then why would I, why would I want to put him through all this when he, you know, couldn't see his kids possibly or... Uh, or he'll get kicked out of his house, he'll be financially ruined, or whatever. Why would she want to take that chance? And I, I know that um, uh, the excuse will be like, yeah, a lot of people get divorced, but not us. 
Over 50% of marriages these days end in divorce, um, and I'm pretty sure none of the people getting married uh, at that point were thinking that they were ever going to get divorced. Otherwise, they wouldn't be getting married in the first place. So someone will end up changing their mind or something, uh, you know, they'll get bored or someone will cheat. Um, so it's kind of stupid to stand on an altar, right hand to God, and say that you, you accept your partner uh, in sickness and in health till death do you part or whatever, when someone's just going to change your mind 50% of the time anyways, decide that they're not compatible after 20 years or some other bullshit. Uh, it seems like a waste of time and a waste of money. And then, uh, let's see, no sex before marriage. This is pathetic. I think when people, mostly women, say that they're not going to have sex before they get married. And sure, if you want to hold yourself to uh, a standard of not having sex until you're really in love or really committed or, you know, six months or a year, then that's fantastic. I think a lot of people should uh, have that kind of morality when it comes to giving their body up to someone because a lot of people, uh, they just lose it when you're like 15 years old to some asshole football player or whatever because oh, they were forced to or oh, I thought I liked them or whatever. Um, which is, I think, most of the time a giant mistake. Uh, but if you're if you're gonna hold yourself off until you get that special ceremony, I think um, I think that's that's really cheap, and I think it's disrespectful to your partner because um, it's not a group decision. Uh, in most relationships, uh, when you're about to have sex, it's a group decision. You do it when uh, both partners are ready, and it's it's a a common misconception that, you know, oh, the man just wants to go, go, go from day one. No, not all men are like that. That's a stereotype. So you do it when both people are ready, but in this, in this sex before marriage thing, assuming they're both uh, not from the same religion or they both don't have the same values or whatever, it's the one partner just forcing the, uh, the other partner to wait which I think is really rude because, uh, especially in the sense of marriage or what it's boiled down to these days, it's like, you know, I, I love him so much, but I, I can't go all the way until he buys me a diamond ring, I get my white dress, everyone gives me attention, and we sign a document that uh, basically fucks you over uh, if, if we get divorced. Uh, that doesn't sound very romantic to me, and it sounds like the woman just wants to hold her virginity hostage until the man buys her a bunch of stuff. So, uh, no to that. And then some people will try to defend that by uh, claiming religious reasons, which I think is pretty funny because, um, you know, most, most people under that religion will just break a few rules anyways, uh, or they'll take it in the ass and then claim that it didn't count um, and then, uh, they'll try and quote the Bible or something, like, uh, the Bible says no sex before marriage, when the Bible's version of marriage is probably not the current definition of marriage, which entails a giant party, uh, and expensive clothing, and signing that death contract that fucks a man over for life. Um, uh, I think the Bible mostly meant that they shouldn't have sex. Uh, until they are committed and uh, ready to raise a family so the man isn't off impregnating random women all over the town and he doesn't have uh, bastard children or whatever uh, who don't know who their dad is or who their mom is or whatever. Uh, <laughs> what am I saying? They would know who their mom is, I think. Whatever. I'm really tired right now. I just fucked that part up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, alright, so religious, I think that's kind of BS, uh, because you have to either, uh, stay really committed to your religion, a lot of people don't, they will seek fame and glory, take glory away from God or whatever, I'm not religious, I'm just saying a lot of people who claim religion, they go on shows like American Idol and try and get famous, when that is hypocritical, um, and then they'll, sometimes they'll cheat on their partners or whatever. That's not religious. That is blasphemy. Uh, and then, let's see, tax benefits. They're like the only good part of being married. Uh, when people are married, you can save money on their taxes. Um, 
if you have a six-figure income, which is $100,000 or more a year, you can save roughly six to $7,000 a year on taxes if the woman isn't working, uh, or if the man is a primary breadwinner or whatever. Uh, which is good, $6,000 a year, sign me up, until you think about divorce, which has a 50% chance of happening anyways, uh, you have to pay the lawyers, you have to pay for court appearances, and the man will have to pay for alimony, which is, the woman lives in a nice house, with a lot of food, a lot of entertainment, how dare you take all that away from her, so you have to pay her uh, to live a decent lifestyle, uh, now that she's on her own, even though she wasn't providing for herself before. And I don't want to sound like a misogynist to you, so it can work uh, the other way around as well. If the woman is the primary uh, earner and the man doesn't have a job or barely makes any money, but in, in the majority of cases, it is the woman getting paid. Uh, child support, if you, if you have kids, then they have to be taken care of even if the mother beats them or whatever uh, the woman will have the primary advantage in court so if you're a dad good luck on getting custody of your own children um she would have to be like a satanist cult leader who snorts cocaine off her child's ass or something uh to not get custody custody of her own kids so you'll have to pay a certain amount of money every month uh, to support your kids. She can spend that money at will. If she wants a, a new uh, Gucci bag or whatever, she can spend it on that. Uh, the court really doesn't look at, at uh, things in depth there. And um, yeah, I think that's it for that. So ultimately, you will, if you get divorced, you will be spending a lot more money than you would save through tax benefits. Um, then a housewife. Uh, I hate when people say that they're going to be housewives. Of course, I, re I refer to women uh, all over Twitter and Facebook. They say, you know, when I'm a housewife, I can't wait to do this. Or I can't wait to have a husband and be a housewife. When uh, comparing uh, a housewife schedule to a man, uh, his working schedule, that is extremely pathetic. Um, thinking that the man works eight hour days, sometimes more, five days a week, sometimes more, uh, but let's just think, 40 hours a week compared to the woman uh, doing what, vacuuming, uh, sweeping the floor, making meals, whatever, that's probably uh, two, three hours a day maximum. Uh, if there's no kids, uh, then yeah, she won't have to do a whole hell of a lot of work. Uh, and otherwise she can stay up as late as she wants, she can sleep in, all that kind of stuff, she can do a lot of things and have a lot of freedom that the man can't. So how, how exactly is this a fair deal? Um, I would probably think otherwise if, if both parties could uh, decide uh, w which one could be the housewife or house husband or whatever, uh, because like the like the sex thing it would be their decision i don't like when it's a default that the man has to go to work the woman gets to stay home and do almost nothing all day it's like she wants to be courted and uh you know taken on dates be treated like a princess and uh be proposed to and have her fancy white wedding and then be taken care of for the rest of her life while the man the whole time is a slave to her. It really is a balance of equality there. Uh, I used to talk to someone on YouTube, she was like 29 or 30 years old, and I'm not worried about her seeing this video because she told me she'd subscribe to this channel like last year and then she didn't watch any videos or she watched like one or whatever, so hi. Uh, <laughs> uh, but anyways, um, she wasn't married. She was uh, living with her boyfriend of like 10 years. He worked uh, five days a week, I believe, repairing computers. And she, uh, she really did nothing. She said that she did some housework, which was like sweeping the floor and vacuuming. Uh, they had a small house anyways, um, so it's not like she did a whole hell of a lot of work. Uh, she did dishes, which essentially just meant putting them in the dishwasher, maybe scrubbing a pan or two. And no, she did not cook. She didn't know how to cook. Uh, she spent the man's money on fast food, like, every day. Uh, she spent the man's money on video games, and she fueled her car. 
and bought her car with his money uh, that he willingly gave her. He was like the the perfect whipped man who didn't know how to put his foot down. And bought her a PlayStation 3 or whatever. Uh, so she ate junk food, played video games, and went out to the video arcade uh, and restaurants and stuff like every day and came back, did her 30 minutes of housework and, you know, went back to the PlayStation and she told me that it was a, uh, she thought it was a balanced um, contribution of effort, uh, you know, 50-50 down the middle, which, like, oh, get a fucking clue. Um, if, if, uh, if the roles were reversed, the man would be a deadbeat uh, and the woman would be told to leave him, but since... Since it's a man working and the, the woman uh, leeching, then it's perfectly fine. Um, a lot of this, uh, you know, you're, uh, a lot of this information is just counted on uh, by me, you know, reading stories off the internet like men going their own way forums. That's a cult uh, or a pool of misogyny, but uh, it's all anecdotal, so I'd recommend that you go over there if you want to be further persuaded out of marriage all the guys got screwed over so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna get married it's it's stupid um but as for my own personal stories well let's see my oh, <laughs> just seeing if someone's in the room uh my mother her parents they got divorced i don't think i've ever seen my grandfather on that side my dad his parents got divorced i can't remember my grandfather on that side parents were married they divorced my dad is currently in the Philippines on the other side of the world. I haven't seen him in a couple of years. And my aunt, uh, she was married to my uncle for like over a decade. And then they got divorced. I haven't seen him in five years. Now she's remarried. How long will that last? I don't know. She'll get bored eventually, I'm sure. Uh, and then my other aunt, she got married in 2008. I thought that was one marriage that would finally last. They seemed to really get along. But no, she seems to have decided that they're not a, a perfect match. No, there is no abuse. There is no, uh, let's see, uh, no mistreatment or anything. She just decided that they didn't fit anymore, so they're getting divorced any day now. Uh, and these are the same people that uh, recommend that I should get married. And they also told me that I should pay for all dates uh, that I go on, or if I go on dates, that I should pay for them. And open the door for any any lady, and open or uh, and hold chairs open for any lady. So I think they're pretty misguided um, socially, and that's coming from someone who sits in the fucking basement all day. Um, so overall, I don't think marriage works in this day and age compared to a hundred years ago, where women were actually oppressed. They couldn't get jobs very easily, if at all. So they were kind of forced to stay home and take care of the kids, and. Um, uh, support the husband, take care of the house, etc. Uh, but now they're not discriminated against, they're not oppressed anymore. And anyone who says that they are is really fucking stupid because women actually, right now, they have um, pretty much every advantage in the world. Men, uh, you know, there's such a thing as men's rights because they are getting trampled all over uh, today. Women are considered the queens, men are considered pieces of shit these days. Uh, maybe I'll make a different video about that eventually. But, um, okay, uh, women can get jobs now. They, they can go get jobs. There's something called affirmative action, which is companies hiring based on gender. They have to fulfill certain quotas sometimes if they have too many men and not enough women. Then an inexperienced woman, woman pardon me, can go in, uh, apply, next to an experienced man and sometimes a woman will get the job just because they need more women there so there is nothing keeping women from getting their own jobs and being equal contributors or even primary contributors to the family uh, there's no reason that they have to stay home and do almost jack shit all day and if there's kids involved then sure raising them is a job it's a big job i'm not discounting that but the man's job, uh, eight, eight to five, nine to five, uh, whatever, um, that he comes home and he still has to raise the kids. It's not like he gets to shut himself off in front of the TV. Um, so it's still unequal. Uh, and also, um, girls these days, people these days, uh, are, they act like 
savages. Uh, a lot of the girls slut it up, a lot of the guys hook up, stuff like that. Um, it's more damaging for women because they control uh, the sexual capital, sexual market, whatever. So, um, you know, they decide who, get, who gains access into their legs, and if they, if they waste it on a bunch of studs at the bar, then they're considered not marriage material, yet they still demand uh, to be treated like a princess. And um, it really makes no sense when they, they want this treatment that they don't deserve. Um, and uh, yeah, half of marriages end in divorce anyways. So really, what are the benefits of getting married these days? If you get married, chances are, uh, as a man, you will be financially ruined just preparing for the, the wedding, you know, engagement ring, wedding ring, ceremony. Yeah, sometimes the, the family of the bride or the groom will pay for the, the wedding, but still. You have to go buy a house, uh, you know, lock down that 30-year mortgage, and then sometimes she won't want to have sex before marriage. Uh, so there's that. And a bunch of complicated uh, other aspects, uh, which will probably eventually lead into the woman demanding to be a housewife, taking your money to go buy her herself some own th uh, to go buy herself uh, some things that she doesn't need. Um, while you work for it, she doesn't really do anything, and then yeah, she has you by the balls. She can divorce you at will, and sometimes even if she cheats on you. She can cheat on you with Demarcus or uh, Jay Kwan or whatever, the male equivalent of Boon uh, While you're married, she can cheat and then she can, she can uh, file for divorce based on emotional distress or whatever. You weren't paying enough attention to her so she can divorce you. And then uh, you still have to pay for uh, Demarcus and your wife's, your ex-wife's uh, new place or whatever. You still have to fuel your ex-wife's uh, life financially. So tell me in what world is that fair? Um, I'm not uh, completely against getting in relationships or anything like that, but I think looking at marriage as like the ultimate fulfillment of a relationship is pretty toxic, especially considering what marriage stands for these days. And um, yeah, I think uh, if I were to have any sort of marriage, it would just be some kind of, some kind of small event no legal things, no religious ties, just, you know, I don't know, writing, writing vows, saying them, actually meaning them, you know, I, I have a sense of loyalty, I'm not sure how many others do, but yeah, say what I mean, mean what I say, and yeah, we can dress up fancy, and that's about it, nothing tying me down financially, legally, religiously, nothing like that, so... If, if she cheated, we can just walk away uh, and I wouldn't be fucked over in my bank account or anything like that. So, that is pretty much all I have to say. Rate thumbs up if you agree. Comment down below your own thoughts on marriage. And uh, that's it. I'll see you later for more videos. And I gotta go watch wrestling right now. Uh, so, yeah, that's why I didn't edit this video. Wrestling's more important than cutting clips. So, I'll see you later.